The National Waste Management Strategy of South Africa, which was passed by Parliament in the year 2011, acknowledged that waste management in South Africa does indeed face numerous challenges, which include, amongst others, a growing population and a growing economy, which means increased volumes of waste that is generated. And this puts pressure on the waste management facilities which are already in short supply. And I'm sure those of us who are maybe aware, we are currently uh, refurbishing and helping our provinces and our municipalities to make our landfill sites much better operated. So that's another challenge. Next challenge being the increased complexity of waste streams because of urbanization and industrialization. And the next challenge being the absence of a recycling infrastructure which will enable separation of waste at source and diversion of waste streams to material recovery and buyback facilities. And lastly, the growing pressure on outdated waste management infrastructure with declining levels of capital investments and maintenance. With all these challenges, all is not doom and gloom. We are indeed doing something and we are acting. And thanks for this facility, which is actually contributing in a big way, Madam Teresa, towards this, uh, uh, alleviating these challenges that I've, I've spoken, some of these challenges that I've referred to. We therefore need to ensure that all role players, including government, and I say government as well, because in those facilities of ours, we do have to actually recycle. Government and the private sector, and the civil society, and the general public does play an important part in ensuring that we put waste management as one of the priority areas of our development. Extrapet is committed to actively raising not just the quality and image of recycling, but also the awareness of around the challenges of solid waste management. We are fully supportive of government's drive to attain zero waste to landfill. The change in behavior towards the generation of waste and waste management by all sectors of society called for in government's national pricing strategy for waste management is to be commended and supported. This will contribute to diverting waste away from landfill sites towards recycling and grow the, 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 recycling and grow the, the recycling economy. Our society, ladies and gentlemen, needs to be aware that waste can actually be a resource. It has an economic value and can actually contribute to job creation and small and medium micro enterprises development. And I'm glad that there's been a recognition for the, to the fact that we have actually begun doing pricing for waste. We do think that it is an important piece of work that's been done because we have to ensure that our people understand that there is value in waste. Ladies and gentlemen, my department is looking at ensuring that recycling efforts are encouraged throughout the different sectors, and paper and packaging is one of the sectors which we have to uh, prioritize to be managed through the industry waste management plan model. And this model, we believe, ladies and gentlemen, gives industry an opportunity to collaborate and come up with the plan, a plan or some plans outlining the extended producer responsibility mechanism as envisaged in the National Environmental Management uh, Waste Act of 2008.